Spector uh, yeah, with yeah. Living Eco and Eco Razzi. Right. So you've done a film called Gasland. Can you tell us a little bit about your film? Yeah, Gasland is my trip across America um, investigating hydraulic fracturing for natural gas, which is a boom. We're in the middle of the, uh, the largest natural gas drilling campaign in history, uh, domestic, onshore. Um, and it is incredibly contaminating to water supplies and it also pollutes the air quite a bit. Um, the natural gas industry is the chief competitor with renewable energy um, and it is not a green technology, it is not a green uh, fuel um, and I think Gasland draws attention to the ways that the gas industry has been lying to American people, the way that uh, you know, all the dirty secrets behind the Pickens plan um, and I think that's what the Environmental Media Association is trying to call attention to. What were some things that absolutely shocked you as you were filming the documentary? A couple, two things. One, in gas drilling areas, people can light their water on fire um, right out of the tap. It's pretty amazing. And if people go to GaslandTheMovie.com to learn more about the issue and the film, they can see that clip right there. Um, the second thing is how our government, under the Bush administration, completely deregulated this form of drilling. This form of drilling called hydraulic fracturing injects toxic material by the millions of gallons under the ground uh, directly into or adjacent to drinking water supplies. Uh, exempting that from the Safe Drinking Water Act is insane. Um, and that, that is a policy that needs to be overturned and, and it has been very difficult to get that uh, hydraulic fracturing re-regulated under Safe Drinking Water Act. That's what I'd like to see and that was shocking, shocking to me. What made you decide to create this concept, to, to uh, create this film? It's, it's honestly one of the most shocking things that's going on right now as we speak. Well, it's a funny story. I was asked, I live in the upper Delaware River Basin of Pennsylvania, right near the border of Pennsylvania and New York. That's part of an interconnected watershed system that provides water to New York, uh, Philadelphia, New Jersey. And we were asked to lease our land for natural gas drilling. So I started to look into the process and went to a neighboring town, Halliburton trucks swarming everywhere, people could light their water on fire, kids getting sick, animals getting sick. I mean, it was just a disaster. So I wanted to find out if that was the standard around America. And as it turns out, people could light their water on fire from Texas to Louisiana, Colorado, New Mexico. These same toxins were churning up in people's water supplies. Just unbelievable. What can, what can I do about this? What can we do about this? You can go to GaslandTheMovie.com, click on whatever state you're living in, and you'll get a, a take action directive, and that will generate a letter to Congress. That if you put in your zip code, it'll generate a letter to Congress in support of the FRAC Act. The FRAC Act would re-regulate the process under uh, the Safe Drinking Water Act. That's the first thing that you can do. The second thing there at GaslandTheMovie.com is you can connect with a grassroots organization in your area. And most of the uh, major national organizations in America now are involved in the fight against hydraulic fracturing. Uh, so I, I would go ahead and support those organizations, write to your congressmen and women and senators, uh, and get involved and learn about what natural gas is actually doing to America's environment. Thank you so much, and right, thank welcome. you so much for doing this documentary. Amazing. Thank you. Bye-bye.